In today's video, we are quickly looking into how to enhance the Helix Postmodern Editor with a proper file browsing capability using YASI. Before we start, we just clone the repository from Helix and once the cloning is completed, we ensure to build Helix from source with the release flag attached to it because we don't want to have a debug version of it to get at least the proper performance. The compiling might take some time, so therefore, please <laughs> grab a coffee if you want, because it might take a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, I also will switch back to the browser to show you the YASI um, TUI program. If you are not familiar with it, it's just a very convenient file browser running in the terminal. and my personal opinion about YASI is that it's really great um, and very convenient to use, especially for the shortcuts it offers. Just heading to the Git repository for YASI, you can download the latest binaries, put them on your machine, and then potentially update your path variable so that the terminal has properly access to it. But this I leave up to you. Once the compilation is completed, we need actually to copy from the target release folder the Helix binary. We copy it over actually to the root of the uh, checked out Git repository so that Helix is able to find all the associated required subdirectories in order to run properly. More particular, I'm referring here to contrib and to the runtime. Once the binary has been copied over, as I am use YASI already for that task, we can finally start again the editor and then basically have a look at the recently implemented file explorer. You can access it by space, pressing space E and as you can see, this is just a very basic file browser or project browser where you can actually just view the hierarchy of the files, but you cannot add new folders and so on. Now let's change that behavior by introducing YASI in combination with Helix. Therefore, we are heading to the Helix um, configuration and we add this new comment um, under the keys.normal co uh, configuration. So capital C dash E and then this kind of comment which will just ensure that YASI will be properly rendered and invoked by pressing um, Ctrl E on the Mac. Then we can just close Helix and reopen it and then press Ctrl E in order to launch YASI. And then basically all the YASI comments you might be already familiar with, you can use in order to create new file, uh, folders, files, or delete current folders, rename them, re, uh, move them to other folders, and so on. Of course, the paths will be not automatically updated, um, like you might experience from VS Code and so on. But that one makes a great improvement when you want to use Helix on a daily basis through a bigger code base. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. See you potentially next time.